okay welcome to the channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to integrate google meet with your um, go high level calendar so that it can generate um, automated dynamic appointment links for your appointee as well as you uh, you don't have to do anything manually after setting this up so this has been uh, a bit of a problem with me too because i was using the zoom integration and when I tried to do the Google Meet, um, I found it difficult. I didn't find any resources or help, specific help on how to, you know, get started with it and how to set that up. And many people were asking in different groups too about this problem. So I thought about creating this video. So it's a simple step. So first of all, you'll have to go to settings and then you'll have to set up your uh, account in, my, in the My Stop section. So in here in the staff section, you'll have to add an employee. It could be someone in your staff that will be doing the calls on the appointment, or it could be you yourself. So you'll have to create an uh, create a you know, profile for them here in here using an email, phone number. You don't have to integrate the calendar yet, and you might have an understanding of the you know roles and permissions. So let's not talk about that for now. After you set up, this is the account that we uh, that I set up for myself in this sub account. So after you have set that up, you'll have to go and log in as this account, not like not as the admin of the agency. You know, go go to this profile, log in as. So this one's the account. Now after you have logged in, you can go to my profile. This won't be appearing in the beginning. After you log in using your own profile, then this will be showing up here in this tab. So my profile. And then you'll have to go and connect your Google account and add a new calendar using your Google account. You can also connect your Google and Outlook calendar, even your iCloud calendar, and also Calendly. And here it is, video conferencing, you can connect Zoom or Microsoft Teams. But for google meet there's no direct integration here so for that i'll show you in a while so after you've set this up you can configure your calendar here also for any conflicts so that you don't get any double bookings and here is the user availability you'll choose meeting location custom so i've connected zoom so zoom is showing up here and it can be a local address also if it's an in-person meeting without uh, online connectivity okay you'll choose custom and google meet so that's it after that you set up your hours and save it then going back we'll go to the calendars calendar settings and for now you can see there are four types of calendars here and also uh, two more in the um, more types of calendar but i haven't found the settings for adding google meet on different calendars as of now so you should you'll have to use the round robin calendar here. Go to the round robin, add availability and all those things. And I'll show you mine here. You don't have to do anything more. As now that you have added you yourself as a team member or your staff's you know, profile, you can select it in here, select team members. And even you can choose according to the availability of each um, member's calendar or you can optimize this calendar for equal distribution. So um, there's no one <laughs> here, it's me only. So add yourself. And in here you can choose Google Meet. Okay, Google Meet. And then save it. Uh, let's go and check once again. What's in the advanced thing? Okay, nothing more. Okay, now you must know about the availability forms and uh, there's a new setting here not in, uh, notifications and additional options so these are the new thing that ha uh, they have added to the calendar before you would have to make a workflow for appointment confirmation reminder and things like that but now you can do it straight from the calendar itself and you won't have to build and build a new workflow okay you can select to you know disable uh, disable this or you can use the workflow so it's up to you you can go to edit 
and you know do all those things anyways here's the thing i would like you to do so um sometimes the email might not go, uh, go through so you can check this uh check this option is on hello google or outlook calendar to send invitation and update emails to anything so i have turned this on and save it and after you have saved your calendar customize it according to your preference you can i'll show you now so there's not much thing to do as you have added the calendar and also the profile so that's it to this now i'll show you share copy the link let's paste it here so this is for my affiliate uh, marketing business for go high level where you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me and i'll do a free consultation for you okay let's do 230 select name okay let's do this i confirm schedule meeting okay here it is so this is the meeting confirmation so here's the meeting link for the appointee they can use this link to join uh, when the time is due and they can also add this you know meeting appointment to their calendar outlook calendar and also icloud calendar now if you want to do the automation i'll show you mine it's a simple setup and how to i'll also show you how to send the appointment location the google meet link in the emails and sms okay appointments so here's the one one booking it's a simple setup but if you don't know uh, in the beginning it's uh, a bit difficult to find and connect the dots so that's why many people struggle with this setting okay so here's the confirmation email that i send when someone books a call with me and here's the email uh, you must probably know how to use the custom values so you'll find the links in the custom values okay so your appointment is all set here's the appointment meeting link so for this I'll delete it for now just go to custom values appointment and where is it ah yeah meeting location this appointment meeting location and this will dynamically change into your google meet link and you can use this when the time is due for your appointment so this is a simple setup let me cancel this that's it and even if you want to send and maybe you want to do it in sms it's the same in the sms too let's say you're sending an sms and you want to add that okay just go to custom values appointments meeting location you can also add the other options too if they if you want to add the uh, add to google calendar to outlook for uh, the links for those also and the cancellation and rescheduling link so this is how it's, it works and now i'll show you one more thing so there's a trigger called appointment no show or appointment cancelled so you can create triggers based on that also you know automation based on that also so if someone books an appointment and, and they don't come to the appointment you can use a trigger appointment no show okay in calendar one-on-one -on -one, no show okay and you can you know send a follow-up email to them for rebooking or anything you want them to do so uh, how does this trigger work i'll show you that it's simple just go to the calendars you see it's appearing here in the calendar too you can go here join the google meet, uh, google meet directly when the time is due and if they don't you know appear in the appointment you can just go to status unconfirmed uh, sorry it's confirmed after the meeting time is due because uh, the meeting time hasn't reached yet it's two it's in 2 30 and it's 2 17 out here now while i'm making this video so another options will appear here it will say no show appointment cancelled and things like that so you can choose the next trigger based on this status so if it's a no show you choose a no show and the automation that i showed you it will get triggered and you can automatically you know follow up the lead so that's it for this tutorial see you in the next video